Today, we're going to learn about what is a deposit, an earnest money deposit. Hey, this is David Klein Lovett, broker owner, Next Home First Choice Realty, and we send you a video learning about real estate every single week. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you'll learn a lot about real estate. So what is an earnest money deposit or a good faith deposit? First of all, I'm going to talk about what isn't. It is not a down payment. And a lot of times that gets confusing and I might even do a whole video on it. Think of a, a sales price in three different segments, a deposit, a down payment, and then a loan, okay? Unless it's all cash. The deposit is what holds the money, the, the property, the transaction, the agreement together saying, I'll give you this deposit. Now I'm going to figure out if I really want to buy. Those are called contingencies. And then we'll finish the transaction. So then you'd have a, a, a small, generally a small deposit, and then your down payment and then a loan. For instance, uh, just for example, let's, and you know, let's say it's a half a million dollar sale. So you might have a, a $10,000 deposit, you might have another 90,000 for a 20% down, that'd be 100,000 down payment. So now the down payment is actually the deposit and the down payment together. Now that's really the whole down payment, which would be the $100,000. $10,000 deposit, an additional 90,000, that's the down payment. And then you'd have a uh, the loan for the balance of 400,000, okay? So that's what an earnest de money deposit is, or just a deposit. And what it does, and it's, this is significant, it takes the property off the market. Now think about it for a second. If you're the seller, you've got people coming in, coming out, calling you. These are people that have cash money, money, loans, that wanna buy your house. Now I'm saying, well, I wanna buy your home, maybe but I'm gonna give you a down payment while I figure it out. And that's what a deposit is. Now, what do you gotta figure out? Okay, there's things called contingencies. And by the way, so if you decide you don't wanna buy during the contingency period, there's absolutely no problem in you getting the money back. Okay, so that's awesome. So you're not gonna get hurt. Okay, so what is a, a contingency? Meaning, this has to happen for this. If this happens, then I'll do that. What are the major contingencies for a real estate transaction? Well, there's three. There's a loan contingency, there's appraisal contingency, and there's inspection contingencies. Appraisal, we'll go get an appraiser, if it appraised for, in this scenario, 500,000, I'll buy it. If it appraised for less or more, I'll buy it. But if it appraises for less, then I don't have to buy it. You could have a loan contingency. Maybe I thought I could qualify, but now I don't. So as long as you do it within the time period, the due diligence, 17 to 21 days here in California, then it's okay and you get your deposit back, right? And the third one is inspections. And you could have a whole bunch of different inspections. You start out with a general home inspection. You know, a licensed contractor comes in and checks everything out, sends you a report, and then you decide, do I want more inspections? Do I want to cancel? Is it okay? Okay, so those are your contingency period and your contingencies. Now, you say, if you say everything's okay, then you go on with the sale. You got the deposit already there that held the property. So all these other buyers don't get a chance to buy the home while you do your due diligence. All right? So it's, it's really important. It's a big deal. Now, how am I 
much is your deposit? This is tricky. And I have uh, seven strategies that I use to really help buyers. I'm gonna talk about that another time, but in general, you put down a, a down payment to hold the property. In that case scenario, 10,000 is a fine deposit. Stop, think about this. Let's say there's another offer. Everything's the same, everything's the same. And remember, you gotta bring your deposit in anyway. In the scenario I gave, it's 10,000 plus 90,000. Well, what's the difference if you put in 20,000 and 80? So let's say everything's the same, but one buyer has a $10,000 deposit, the other is 20. Which one are you gonna pick? I have no other criteria to pick from. Might as well pick the one that's showing me they're more serious. So in another video, we're gonna go into that, we can go into that in detail. Or if you wanna do a consultation with me, I'll show you the seven strategies that can save you up to thirty to $40,000 when you buy. So that is what an earnest money deposit is. So click the, the link here that says healthy underscore realtor.com and you can sign up and I'll, you'll get a free book, my book, 101 Reasons to Love Your Real Estate Agent. And I will share with you or someone that you love or someone you want, maybe you want your neighbor to move across, share with them. The seven strategies, so you can get an extra, actually nine strategies. Seven for when you buy, seven when you nine, seven when you buy, nine when you sell. That can get you an extra 20, 30, 40, even fifty thousand dollars more when you sell your home. It make a big difference. Thank you very much, it's David Pine, love it, and we do videos every week. Be sure and subscribe.